వెల్కమ్ టు శ్రీ సత్యసాయి లోక సేవ గురుకులం ఆన్లైన్ క్లాసెస్ సో యూ బీన్ లర్నింగ్ అబౌట్ లిమిట్స్ అండ్ కంటిన్యూటీ లెట్స్ క్విక్లీ మూవ్ ఆన్ ఇన్ టు ద క్లాస్ నౌ వీ గోన్ టు డూ మోర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఫైండ్ ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ లిమిట్స్ ఇట్స్ ఈస్ లిమిట్ ఎక్స్ టర్నింగ్ టు జీరో వన్ మైనస్ కాస్ ఏఎక్స్ బై వన్ మైనస్ కాస్ బిఎక్స్ ఇఫ్ ఐ డైరెక్ట్లీ సబ్స్టిట్యూట్ ద లిమిట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు గివ్ మీ జీరో బై జీరో ఫార్మాట్ బికాస్ ఏ ఇంటూ జీరో ఇస్ జీరో by 1 minus b into 0 is 0 so cos 0 is 1 so 1 minus 1 by 1 minus 1 this is going to give me the indeterminate form so now how am i going to do this so i know cos 2x formula right so cos 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square x but here if you see i have an a that a actually i can ignore i can keep it because it's a it's a it's a way it's a constant it's an arbitrary constant meaning a b c all these variables are used to denote constants under that particular situation they are called as arbitrary constants so now instead of 2x i just have an x if i ignore a and b i just have an x there and not 2x so let me try to find the va- find the formula for cos x that is 2x i'm dividing it by 2 to get the cos x formula so i'll be getting 1 by 1 minus 2 sin square x by 2 so this 2 2 will get cancelled i have cos x is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square x by 2 okay okay so we know cos x is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square x by 2 uh, there we have 1 minus cos ax so let's find 1 minus cos ax here so instead of x i'm going to put ax so that will be equal to 2 this will bring it to this side and this will bring it to the other side 2 sin square ax by 2 so 1 minus we'll rewrite this so limit x tending to 0 1 minus cos ax is going to be 2 sin square ax by 2 divided by 1 minus cos bx is going to be 2 sin square bx by 2. Okay. So now please remember you cannot cancel this 2 and this 2. Under no circumstances you can cancel because this is part of the angle and this is a coefficient. Okay. But we can cancel these two out. Okay. So now I have limit x tending to 0 sin square ax by 2 by sin square bx by 2. Now in the last class, we learned few special functions of limits, right? Limits of special functions, wherein uh, we found, we learned one function that was limit x tending to 0 sin x by x is equal to 1. So, whichever angle measure is here, the same angle measure, if it, ha- if it is there in the denominator, then that leads you to 1, right? Now, I have ax by 2 here. If I have another ax by 2, the whole square here, because it's sine square basically, this will lead me to 1 when I apply limit extending to 0. So, now how do I bring that? So, I have to multiply and divide it by ax by b, the whole square. Okay. So, I am just trying to bring it into this form so that I can easily find the limits divided by. Again, the denominator, I am planning to multiply it by multiply and divide by bx by 2 the whole square so that I get the same form in the denominator also and I can use the same formula here. So, this limit is common to both. If you want, you can split it and also write it. One for the numerator, one for the denominator. So, this is going to be equal to this is 1. Again, there are two functions multiplied to each other. This will be applied limit to into this will be applied limit to. So, this is limit a a square x square by 4 
limit extending to 0, a square x square by 4 and this is going to be 1 divided by, this is b square x square by 4 and this is also going to be 1, right? Here limit x tending to 0 can be applied once to the fraction or both to the numerator and to the denominator. So now this x square, this x square is getting cancelled out. This 4 and this 4 getting cancelled out. So this is going to be limit x tending to 0, a square by b square. I don't have any x at all to apply the limits to. So this is a constant. So I'm going to get the answer as a square by b square. So have you all understood? So if you have forgotten these formulas, go back to the previous video. Make a note of those formulas again and then get back here because these questions are quite important and we will have to apply the standard limit formulas that we saw in the previous class to solve these problems. So basically if we convert it into sign, we have one uh, you know standard limit that we had learned that limit x tending to 0 sin x by x is 1. So we are trying to convert this into that form. Okay? So we are using an identity, converting this basically into sign. And then multiplying and dividing it by a quantity to make it of this form. Okay? So if you have not understood this question, please do revisit the same question again. Go through the video again, make a note of it and try and practice. You will definitely understand. So we will move on to the next question. So now the next question. It says limit x tending to pi sin x by pi minus x. So what formula we, do, we know in limits involving sin we know that limit x tending to 0 sin x by x is 1. But here my limit is tending to 0. But in the given question, it is tending to pi. And my denominator here has only x. So whatever the angle measure, the same x is here. But here for me, there is pi minus x. So what do I do is I am planning to convert it into a single variable as I always do, look into the denominator and if the limit is not tending to 0, always take it as a hint. Convert the denominator into a single variable. So now let us take pi minus x as some h. Okay. So what happens? My sin x becomes, since my pi minus x is h, my x is going to be pi minus h, right? So x I can replace it by pi minus h divided by this pi minus x is going to be h. Now I cannot write limit x tending to pi because my entire function has changed in terms of h. So I have to convert the limits also, also limit also in terms of h. So what do I do when my pi limits to when my x limits to pi what happens to h? So my x is limiting to pi. Let us substitute pi in place of x and c you are getting a 0. So that is my h value. Correct? So my limit h will be tending to 0. So my question has got transformed into this. Now, what is sine pi minus h? So sine of pi minus theta, you all know, sine of pi minus theta falls in the second quadrant where sine is positive. So it gets, what is sine of pi minus theta? it is sine theta again. So sine of pi minus h is going to be sine h by h. So these things you would have learnt in trigonometry. We are just using the same concept here. So limit h tending to 0, sine h by h. So this, this question has got converted into this form. And this is equal to 1. We know that. We have the formula. We have already learnt it. So this limit is equal to 1. So it's become very, very simple. So if you transform it into simpler forms using a little strategy here and there, it becomes very, very easy for you to solve. Okay. So let's move on to the next question. Question. It says limit x tending to pi by 2, secant x minus tan x. Okay. So we know of certain formulas involving sine and cos and all that. This becomes a little difficult for us. Okay. So what we will do is we will try to convert this into sine and cos so that it's easier to handle. So this becomes limit x tending to pi by 2 secant x is nothing but 1 by cos x minus 
your tan x is going to be sin x by cos x. So, this is equal to limit x tending to pi by 2 sin x 1 minus sin x by cos x. So, in the previous question, one of the previous videos, we have seen what is 1 minus sin x, right? So, let us quickly have a look. Now, if you see, we have here limit x tending to pi by 2, okay. So, we always deal with, you know, uh, formulas wherein we have limit x tending to 0 sin x by x is equal to 1 and limit x tending to 0 cos x is equal to 1, right. But here we have, uh, here we have pi by 2. So, let us first convert that into a 0, okay. How do we do that? Let us take this x as pi by 2 minus h. When x tends to pi by 2, your h will tend to 0. So, let us first substitute that. So, that is a way of changing the limits. Always change the limit to a 0. Okay. So, now I am going to make it into h. So, h tends to 0. 1 minus sin x is going to be 1 minus sin of x is going to be pi by 2 minus h by cos of pi by 2 minus h. So, I am just substituting this relation to make the limit into 0. So, this gets changed into limit h tending to 0. You know sin of pi by 2 minus theta that is sin of 90 minus theta is cos theta. So, 1 minus cos h divided by sin h. Now, what is 1 minus cos h? You all know that cos 2 h is 1 minus 2 sin square theta, 1 minus 2 sin square h. Now, 1 minus cos 2 h is 2 sin square h, but we have only cos h there, we will divide this by 2. So, we have 2 sin square h by 2 is 1 minus cos h. So, 1 minus cos h is going to be limit h tending to 0, 1 minus cos h is going to be 2 sin square h by 2 divided by sin h. Now, again we cannot apply directly we have to convert it into this form to find the limits sin x by x. Here I have sin square h by 2. So, I should have h square by 2 on the denominator. So, what do we do? We will convert it as a limit h tending to 0. We will multiply and divide this by h square by 4 into 2 sin square h by 2 divided by h by 2 the whole square divided by here we are going to multiply and divide by h h sin h by h. So, now when we apply the limits before we apply it we will analyze where all 1 will come. So, this will be converted into 1 here we can multiply cancel it out. So, this becomes 1, this becomes 1. So, we have limit h tending to 0. This is h square by 2 divided by h or into 1 by h. So, h h gets cancelled. You have limit h tending to 0, h by 2. When I substitute, I get a 0 here. So, let us move on to the next question here. So, the next question is limit theta tending to 0 tan 7 theta by sin 4 theta. Now, always remember whatever angle they have given you, whatever variables they are using for angle, please make sure that you use the same in your solution, only then you will be getting full marks on it. Okay. So, now here we again know limit x tending to 0 sin x by x equal to 1. 
okay and also we know that limit x tending to 0 cos x is also equal to 1. Now we will try to convert this into sine and cos so that it is a little easier for you to deal with it. So we have limit theta tending to 0 sine 7 theta by cos 7 theta by sine 4 theta. Now this cos 7 theta is not a problem because when you lim when you apply limit uh, theta tending to 0 it is going to become 1 but here is our challenge. So we want the same denominator as the angle value. So we are going to multiply and divide by sine theta. So limit theta tending to 0 sine 7 theta by 7 theta. So I will multiply this by 7 theta here into cos 7 theta that is already there in the denominator into this we will again take the reciprocal and bring it to the and put it as a fraction. So into 1 by sin 4 theta again I need to multiply this by 4 theta and divide by 4 theta. Now let us start applying limits. So when I apply limit theta tending to 0 this part becomes 1. So I have limit okay let us start applying the limit so I will not write limit theta tending to 0 now. So I am going to start applying. 7 theta will keep it like that as of now at the end we will apply. So this becomes 1, this becomes 1 into 1 by 4 theta, this becomes 1 and fortunately for us this theta and theta gets cancelled. So we have 7 by 4 as our answer. If you apply limits here 7 into 0 becomes 0 and 4 into 0 becomes 0, 0 by 0 form it will lead you to. So put that theta then cancel it out when you apply the limits so that you get a proper valid answer. So this is equal to 7 by 4. So hope you understood whatever questions we did today. So basically we saw most of the questions we were applying this formula to solve them. So this is one of the most important formula in limits. Please practice more and uh, have a hang of it. In case you have any doubts, just go back to the previous videos and the previous slides to make a note of it okay, and see the video multiple times so that the concepts get registered. Thank you. Sairam.